Today we're going to talk about uh, trout fishing in Korea, specifically streams and rivers. There are no natural still water uh, bodies with reproducing, naturally reproducing populations of trout. There are four species of trout uh, that you can find in Korea. Uh, starting from the top left, we have the cherry. It's kind of three subspecies of the cherry. Uh, some stay in the mountain stream all their life, and they don't get much bigger than 10 inches. Um, and they're the most colorful. And then there are some that run to a larger body of fresh water and then come back to a stream to spawn. And, and they get about uh, 16, 18 inches. And then there are some that uh, run out to sea and then return to the river to spawn and uh, they get about the same size 16 18 inches it's good fish and we have the lenick lenick can get pretty big 20 inch lenick used to be common in in korea and the lenick prefer bigger water um, water where uh, lots of in inflowing small streams that provide cold water um, that's where you'll find the lenick and then we have rainbows. Rainbows are not naturally reproducing. Um, they're either stocked or escape hatcheries. There's no hybrid rainbow cherry trout, to my knowledge. And then there are brown trout in one river system uh, has brown trout. And actually, the brown trout are naturally reproducing. The story goes they were dumped um, from, a, from a hatchery. Uh, because they took too long to grow, so they just dumped them, and they're they're thriving in in the water that they're in now. There are two main river systems uh, that we're going to focus on: the Bukhan and the Namhan. And um, this this bottom one is is the Han River, uh, and and this area right here, uh, this is Seoul, uh, and then this would be the the border uh, dividing. North Korea and South Korea, and the Buk Bukhan is the North Han River, and there you can see um, there's several reservoirs. There's Weam, there's Chuncheon Reservoir up here, there's Soyong Reservoir up here. So uh, there's a lot of reservoirs uh, blocking the Bukhan, but all of the small streams will flow into this river. And then to the south is the Namhan, and it's dominated by uh, the, I think it's the Chung, Chungju uh, Reservoir down here. Um, and then all the, all the streams are going to be flowing into the, this Namhan. Um, this area, though, is, it acts kind of like a continental divide. And so all the the water west will flow west and then all of the water east will flow east and then uh, so you can you can find streams that flow into uh, the sea the east sea and, the, and they'll have the runs of salmon and um, dace and and cherry trout um, will be running into these rivers here here's some water when you're looking at a map here's some water you want to avoid for trout. You'll find other species such as uh, mandarin perch, um, carp, uh, largemouth bass. But for trout fishing, uh, you're, you'll want to avoid these waters. They have a lot of these locks. Uh, and uh, so you can see how it's divided. The stream is divided. And then you also see the sediment. Um, this is from agriculture or construction. Streams that have a lot of sediment aren't going to have a lot of, of vegetation and going to lack the oxygen needed for holding trout. Um, so you'll want to avoid streams that look like this. Um, and this this flat water here also uh, is not good trout holding water. Rather, when you're looking at a map, you're going to want to look for streams uh, that hold good trout habitat. Uh, you can see here there's um, some nice rock and rapids, and that's highly oxygenated water. These bends will provide deep pools uh, for wintering, and there's not much sediment uh, on the sides. So this is a raceway, and um, these are this is a trout hatchery. And 
they raise trout for commercial purposes, uh, stocking into ponds um, and for food. Uh, there are restaurants that serve uh, rainbow trout, and generally they serve it um, raw. So you eat it you know, kind of sashimi style, and then they'll make a soup out of it as well. Um, but these are all over Korea. And if you can if you can find a hatchery, generally there's going to be a population of trout in the river where the hatchery is near. Um, because the water is clean enough for the hatchery, um, and then the hatchery disposes of its of its leftover trout uh, and into the river. Some people think it's an economic benefit for locals to dump the trout. I kind of think they just dump them um, to save cost, uh, but that's a, another debate. But hopefully. I've given you some tips to help you look at a map. I have found water on Google Earth and and uh, checked it out and have caught fish. I've also driven around and just seen a river that looks good, and I've also caught fish. So, you know, I want to help. I understand there's not a lot of, of local help. The trout holding water is limited, and it's – Every stream in every river is, is very highly pressured, and, and I'm a angler before I'm a, you know, creator, a video creator, and so I'm not going to be uh, sharing pins or points or uh, places where you can fish. I will for bass, though, because bass are everywhere, uh, but for the trout, you kind of have to go out and explore, put in the time. There are some great fly shops in Seoul. Um, they're worth checking out. Uh, Truta is one run by Mr. Lee. It was the first fly shop in Seoul. And then there's another great shop called Rainbow um, run by a guy named Mr. John. And he and he's uh, very knowledgeable as well, willing to help. Um, but if you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. And uh, good luck out there.